All right, hatching time. Yeah. All right, let's go do this. Foul demands. Geely Alipo greets you with anxious enthusiasm. This quest available for limited time only. All right, let's do this. Oh, yep, chicken head. Yeah. Come one, come all, for the season of Hatching Tide is here once more. I am Geely Alipo, and it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance on this most blessed occasion. Don't tell me, you're an adventurer, yes? Well, you certainly have the inquisitive nature of one at any rate. May I ask your name? Well then, Locera, I should probably mention that Hatching Tide all began with a vision I had before the seventh Umbral Calamity, in which the twelve Archons delivered unto me a message. From atop their giant decorated eggs they call to me, Arise, young dreamer, and make ready the vessels of for our return. When I awoke, I quickly set about filling the realm with all manner of painted ovoids, and thus did this joyous yearly celebration come to be. I must say, the prophetic dream I had this year was even more fantastical than usual. I was assailed with images of rabbits and chickens who worked together, paw and claw, to construct a wondrous backdrop for our festival. Always before when we made efforts to recreate my visions, the fates rewarded us with some special occurrence. And already it has begun, no sooner had I donned my bunny costume then a chicken-suited poultry farmer arrived in town with a flock of feathery charges and offered to lend his assistance, just as I foresaw. There has, however, been one tiny bump in the road. You don't happen to have a few moments to spare, do you? Oh, I'm always up for an expedition, ha ha ha. Oh, it's just a simple errand, really. I promise not to take up too much of your time. It's just that my good friend Nonota went to collect eggs from the poultry farmer and, well, she should have returned by now. I'm certain it's nothing serious, but I would be ever so grateful if you could pay a visit to Great Lone Glory and see what's keeping her. Okay, let's go. You know, I really love that song. Okay, enough dancing. This is truly exasperating. If you're in search of Nonata, well, congratulations, you found me. So, who are you, and what might I do for you?
Jile was worried, you say. Right, I should probably explain. But before we delve into that, I should introduce you to Master Paulin. Greetings, yes, I am responsible for the little darlings. We heard word of this delightfully eccentric festival taking place in Gridania, and simply had to be part of it. Uh, by little darlings, he means the chickens, and they seem to be a touch out of sorts at the moment. The idea was to have them on hand to lay fresh eggs for us, but I've been trying to help soothe a whole barnful of ruffle feathers. But even wearing the costume didn't stop me from being battered by charging chickens or spattered with fresh droppings. Ew. Honestly, I'm not sure what was injured more, my body or my pride. The poor deer's simply not used to travel. Please don't think less of them if they act a bit rambunctious. Oh, gods. My precious sweetling, no. Uh, Lucera, if you planned on being heroic today, now's the time. <laughs> this is my day off. <laughs> As you stare into the eyes of the feathered fiend, you feel a brief connection being made. Hand over the fancy feed, and I'll give you the eggs you need. Thus spake those black soulless eyes. At least you think that's what they said. You think the little darlings want their fancy feet? Hmm. Well, I do have a special mix I developed with the help of a professional Bismarck culinarian for extra special occasions. I suppose this qualifies. It's dreadfully expensive, even in small amounts, but how could I withhold a treat from my beloved beauties? I think I have enough fancy feed for everyone. Come, Nonota, the ladies await their feast. Right, hatching time must go on. <laughs> now, now, my little darlings, you needn't be so, uh, ow, such a feisty welcome. If we could just, ow, 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 not the fingers. Please, we're just trying to, oh, no, no, the feet's gone everywhere. <sighs> that seemed to cheer them up immensely. I suspect we'll need some eggs to collect in rather short order. We'll have some soon. Cheer them up. They've worked themselves into an absolute frenzy. Perhaps our adventurous friend here would like to try her hand at egg collecting. I'll even give you one of my spare work suits to wear. 
What a um, wonderful opportunity for you. Sort out your gear, say your prayers, and we can have you filling a basket with eggs in no time. Just say the word. Okie dokes. Poultry song. Nunata is in need of your egg collecting excellence. This quest is available for a limited time only. Are you ready to brave the poultry gauntlet? I'm sure you have a preferred adventuring wardrobe, but if you wouldn't mind, I think you should wear the costume while you work. To business then. The entrance to the chicken enclosure is locked up tight. Just give the nod to Master Paul and, and he'll let you in. We're counting on you, Locera. clothes on. Ready? Then into the chicken run you go. The fate, an existential threat, can only be computed, completed as a disciple of war or magic. Check. supposed to do here. I guess I just wait. I think this is the time fate, I guess. Or do I initiate it? Oh, let's find out.
so sweet. Hopefully this will pop soon. I guess we can just collect eggs. Chicken drink. Yes. <laughs> dance, chicken, dance. Uh oh, stuff is going to happen now. Okay, let's see now. Super heavy. Oh, this is never going to work. <laughs> I think I have one egg.
This is just delightfully weird. <laughs> assist us again. <laughs> Oh dear, I know that look. Our feathered friends can be most demanding. You are ready to come out, I assume? Yes. Sir, your egg collecting skills are unparalleled. I don't know how to thank you. Truly, that was a masterful display. I am, however, somewhat concerned that my bellicose beauties may harm themselves in their excited state. If you would be so kind as to make the delivery, I should like to remain here and keep an eye on the chicken run. Certainly. I think I got my voices mixed up there. <laughs> I imagine poor Geely must be frantic. Let us convey this precious cargo back to the amphitheater right away. Welcome back, Lucia. 
I hear the egg collecting was not quite so simple and errant as we had imagined. It was an experience, that's for sure. You are an example to us all. Nonota and I are most fortunate to have your assistance. With your hard-won bounty in hand, we can now proceed to the important ta task of baking cookies and painting eggs for the children. Uh, I am loath to impose upon you so soon after that harrowing ordeal, but I wonder if I might ask you another favor. Simply put, I need you to hand out tokens of gratitude to our tireless helpers, who will soon return from setting up all the hatching tie decorations. Such a duty should fall upon me, of course, but this soiled suit requires an immediate and thorough scrubbing. Sure, no problem. Wonderful! Come to the front of the amphitheater and I'll have the gifts laid out for you in just a moment. Here are the gifts I mentioned. I put together three different sets, but you can come, you can hand out whichever seems appropriate. Thank you again. I'm sure your choices will be perfect. Meanwhile, I shall see to cleansing the filth from my costume. Once you finish with the presents, you can report directly to Geely. Greetings. We have come to report the completion of our part of the decorations. Tis a joyful duty to assist with the hatching tide adornments, knowing that every inhabitant of Gridania might enjoy the festivities. I hope you too will take a moment to join us in this rare chance for revelry. Sure thing. In charge of rewarding festival helpers, you say? I've not done aught so grand as to merit a reward, but in the spirit of the occasion, I shall humbly accept your gift. My, what charming little toys. I'll take the rabbit, then I shall Claim this adorable chicken. Rather, if. <laughs> A gift from you? I shall treasure it always. Such a lovely surprise. Now, if you will pray, excuse us. I'm not surprised to see you here. We had a guild meeting scheduled, but you know how adventurers are. We just had to get involved in celebrations. And seeing how the dreamers always do such a nice job of decorating Ulda, I figured this was the perfect chance for me to return the favor. Yeah? Passing out presents to us laborers, are ya? Far be it from me to refuse a gift given freely. Yeah. Ah, these are the type they fill with baked delights. There's nothing better than enjoying a sweet treat after a hard day's work. Don't go ordering them all yourself now. I've got time for a quick bite and a couple Mother Mion's best tea before I make the trip back to Limsalo Minza. Sounds like a grand idea. Count me in.
We'd best be off and leave you to your business then. Do come visit us at the canopy when duty permits. Later. I don't know if my sense for decoration is all that appealing, but I seem to have made a feathered friend. She must be from the flock belonging to Master Paulin. Watching the struggles thus struggles from afar, I had come to the conclusion that chickens are troublesome creatures, yet this one seems docile enough. So far, she's been content to follow me around as I put the finishing touches on my adornments. Is it my costume, I wonder? A gift for me? I feel somewhat guilty accepting a reward for an activity I so thoroughly enjoy. But if you insist. These Archon eggs are exquisite, aren't they? Speaking from the viewpoint of one who provides raw materials to artisans, I am thrilled to see my humble contributions transformed into such works of art. You like it too, do you? Then I shall display it in a place of pride, where it shall serve as a memento of our brief and unusual companionship. Now I think it's time I return this wayward hen to her owner. Fare you well. Well, Sarah, my thanks for your assistance. Our little tokens were well received, I hope. I'm glad to hear it. Once my own tasks were complete, I found myself veritably surrounded by sylphs and moogles. I suppose the hustle and bustle of the festival must have piqued their curiosity. The moogles seemed particularly focused on wheedling cookie after cookie out of me. We shall have to call upon Master Paulin for more eggs so I can bake another batch. But putting these trifling troubles and setbacks aside, our rabbits and chickens have done a fabulous job with the hatching tide decorations. The event is a huge success. And after all you've done to contribute, you deserve to head out and enjoy it. Sure thing. Speak with Nonota if you wish to replay the gift-giving task from the quest, A Poultry Song. You can also repeat the fate and existential threat by speaking with Paulin at the Great Loam Grory. You have unlocked the Egg Hunter Riggy minigame. To play minigames, open a toy chest found in any end room. Nice. That was pretty uh, fun, actually. I love these little events. You have like the sort of cute little stories and stuff, and kind of weird things to do sometimes. But uh, that was pretty cool. All right, that's mainly what I wanted to do here. Get my chicken suit on. Yeah, chicken. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here and uh, get back to uh, probably some MSQ stuff later on.